So hello everyone, welcome to the channel. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to download a free 30 centimeter NAIP aerial imagery from USGS Earth Explorer. So now let's get started. So the National Agricultural Imagery Program is the National Wide Aerial Imagery Acquisition Initiative managed by USDA Farm Services Agencies designed to provide a high resolution and leaf on imagery for United States to support agricultural monitoring, land management and environmental assessment. So the NAIP imagery is typically captured during the peak uh, growing season, ensuring that a vegetation is fully leafed out and allowing the analysts to evaluate the, the crop health, land cover and land use condition with a maximum clarity. So historically, this imagery was collected on a three year cycle, but in the recent it has shifted to a two year or even an annual cycle in many states, depending on the funding and program needs. So the NAIP imagery is acquired using the digital airborne sensors that records the visible and near infrared uh, wavelengths, producing a natural color and color infrared uh, products that are especially useful for vegetation analysis and resource management. So the standard uh, NAIP products includes a one meter uh, ground sample distance imagery through some uh, more recent acquisition offers a 60 centimeter resolution in uh, selected dust uh, areas, significantly improving the detail for the precision agriculture, mapping and urban uh, planning applications. The imagery is delivered as an ortho rectified tiles and mosaic uh, that are spatially accurate and corrected for terrain distortions and aligned to a standard map projections enabling a seamless integ integration into GIS workflows. So the NAIP ortho mosaics are generally produced at 3.75 minutes by 3.75 minutes tile size with the corresponding uh, the 7.5 meter quarter uh, quad range mosaic and the counties or state level mosaics available for the broader application uh, mapping needs. Because the NAIP is a uh, part of uh, the part of the USDA public uh, data program, the imagery is available at no cost and is widely distributed through the platforms such as USGS Earth Explorer, the USDA Geospatial Data Gateway and the various uh, cloud hosted dataset including those on the AWS public dataset program and Earth Engines. So the data format commonly included in GeoTIFF for downloadable products and uh, the JPEG 2000 or uh, cloud optimized format for streaming services and uh, NAIP major is extensively used uh, for agricultural appliances and uh, insurance verification and crop classification. So the land activities providing the farmers and researchers uh, with up to uh, data landscape condition for the informed decision making. So in addition, the agricultural applications like uh, the NAIP serves as a broader use in urban planning and uh, environmental monitoring, forestry and hydrology, and even in the emergency management thanks to its consistent national-wide uh, coverage and relatively uh, frequent uh, refresh intervals. So the near-infrared imagery enables the calculation of the vegetation indices like NDVI, making the NAIP a valuable dataset for ecological assessment and vegetation health studies. So the program uh, also emphasizes the data quality and ensuring uh, radiometric consistency and uh, the geometric accuracy and minimal uh, cloud cover in all deliverables. As one of the most widely used public aerial imagery datasets in the United States, so this imagery plays a central role in uh, federal and states and local government, mapping the efforts and offering a reliable and high quality source of geospatial information. So that supports uh, long-term uh, land monitoring and efficient resource management across the states. So uh, this is the official site uh, where you can uh, access and download the. NAIP imagery. So this is USGS Earth Explorer website where you can download this uh, the 30 centimeter uh, spatial resolution NAIP imagery and uh, make sure that you create your uh, USGS account and log in to uh, this uh, official website to download your NAIP uh, imagery. So in my first step I'm uh, gonna navigate this option called search criteria here. So we have this uh, different criteria, for example, uh, so you can select your region of interest uh, using this particular option called polygon. So for example, I've selected as a polygon here and I can draw a polygon over a suitable study region of your choice and uh, you can start searching for your uh, imagery or uh, you can uh, use your different options. For example, uh, you can click this option called circle to uh, 
and in that we have to enter the center uh, latitude and uh, center longitude or you can select your predefined area so you can add your KML file or the shape file uh, into this uh, option here called add a shape so uh, in this option called add shape we have this uh, set of options so for example you can select your uh, suitable state of your choice for example you can select any state of your choice and uh, you can select the area type and uh, you can select the area so the next set of option was uh, I'm gonna use this particular option I'm gonna select to a polygon and I'm gonna add a, uh, add a coordinates so I'm gonna navigate to my uh, latitude and longitude of my study region so I'm gonna paste my latitude and longitude of my study area so this is my latitude and longitude of my study region so I'm gonna paste, uh, paste the latitude and uh, longitude here so now here I have pasted my latitude and longitude and uh, you, you can able to see the so I pasted my degree minutes and uh, seconds here as well as the the direction so uh, selected north and west so once you added your coordinates I'm gonna click this option called add so I'm gonna navigate to my study region here so in the next step I'm gonna select uh, the data set here and uh, in that uh, make sure that you navigate to this particular option called aerial imagery and in that uh, you're going to select this particular image called NAIP so we can able to see I've selected this particular imagery and also you can go through the information about this collection so this is the details about this particular uh, imagery you can go through this information about this imagery so the, the link will be uh, given in the description about this uh, particular imagery so uh, after selecting your data set uh, you can now navigate back to your search criteria and even uh, you can select your uh, suitable time frame of your choice for example you can select the desired date of your choice from start date to end date and you can select that uh, particular set of imagery and uh, we have another option called cloud cover you can also select the cloud uh, cover percentage here so you can just uh, slide this uh, slider to increase or decrease your cloud cover range and we have another called result options so let me navigate to the date range so you can select your suitable uh, date of your choice and the year and make sure that uh, so this particular imagery was collected on three years cycle but in recent year it has shifted to two years or even annual cycle in many states so you have to give a suitable time range uh, based on your uh, analysis so uh, you can mention your suitable time frame of your choice so next we're going to navigate to data sets and uh, we have selected the imagery and next is uh, we're going to select additional criteria. So now we're going to select the additional criteria here. So we have this uh, different set of uh, criteria. So once you selected your additional criteria or uh, leave it as a default, so you can navigate to the results section. So here it's going to load the, the NAIP majories. So for example, so this is my region of my interest. So I'm going to uh, click this option called uh, show footprint. So this particular footprint covers my region of interest. So you can able to see and uh, you can also try a different image of a different uh, imagery of your choice. For example, I'm going to select uh, the second image. So this particular image, the first image was available in uh, 2023, February 28. So similarly, the second image was available on 2023, January uh, 11. And the second uh, imagery falls in this area, which is not uh, correctly falling in my study region here. So we're going to select my first image. And once you selected uh, your first image here, so uh, we're going to click this option called uh, download options. So it's going to load the uh, window here. So in the download options, we have uh, two set of options here. So in the download option, I'm going to select to uh, full resolution. That is 1.75 GB. So we're going to select download. So navigate to your suitable folder location where you would like to download this NAIP imagery. So now I have navigated to my suitable folder location. So we're going to click save. So now here you can able to see the download has started here. So it's going to take some time to uh, download this particular imagery. So it has a size of around 1.8 GB. So uh, here you can able to visualize we have downloaded our NAIP imagery from USGS. So the size of his uh, size is around 1.8 GB. So now let us visualize this image. I'm going to open my file manager. 
So now I have navigated to my folder location where I downloaded my, uh, downloaded my NAIP imagery. So we're gonna right click on this and click this option called extract here. So it's gonna extract the satellite imagery here in this folder. So now the files are being extracted here. So once it, the files has been extracted, uh, we're gonna open this particular imagery in RGIS Pro. So then the files has been extracted. So now I have opened my RGIS Pro. So first I'm gonna navigate to my uh, catalog section here. I'm gonna connect that particular folder. So now I have navigated to the folder location. So I'm gonna select and click OK. And I'm gonna click the down arrow button. And I'm gonna click this. And I'm gonna add this file. So to add this, I'm gonna right click and uh, click this option called Add to the Current Map. So it's gonna add our uh, NAIP imagery in RGIS Pro. So currently it is calculating the statistics here. So now the image has been added. So we're gonna right click on this and uh, navigate to this option called Zoom to Layer. So here you can, uh, you can able to visualize, this is the image we have downloaded from uh, USGS Earth Explorer, the NAIP imagery. And uh, the NAIP uh, full form is uh, National Agricultural Imagery Program. So now let us take a look at this particular imagery. And you can able to see the resolution of this particular imagery. So uh, this is the resolution of this imagery. So let me uh, remove the base map here. I'm going to turn off the base map as well as the world imagery. So let me navigate to my study region here. So now let us check out the resolution of this particular imagery. So we're going to navigate to the layer. You're going to right click and click this option called uh, properties. And here we're going to navigate to the source section here. And uh, in the raster information, I'm going to click this option. And you can able to see the cell size is, uh, cell size is around 0 0.3, which indicates a 30 centimeter of resolution. The cell uh, size X and cell size Y, 30 centimeter by 30 centimeter imagery. And the size of this particular imagery is around 2 GB. So you can able to see that. So uh, I'm going to ca cancel this. So in this video, I have shown you how to download a free 30 centimeter NAIP aerial imagery from USGS Earth Explorer. So thanks for watching and make sure that you subscribe to our channel and give us a like.